Hello everyone. Welcome to Mentor School. My name is Ankit. Today in this video, we are going to have a quick overview on identity and access governance solution available on BTP. And just for your information, this is nothing but corresponding to GRC AC we have in on premise. Okay. So if you already have experience of GRC AC, you know that it is access governance tool. Similarly, in cloud in BTP, we have identity access governance. Okay. Why they introduce this is because your GRC cannot be integrated with cloud systems we have in within SAP except one or two. That's why they get got IAG with which easily can be integrated with cloud systems on uh, any cloud system, SAP cloud systems or even non SAP cloud systems, right? And it's not just limited to cloud systems. Even IAG can connect to on premise systems as well. So to be able to do access and governance for cloud application as well as on premise applications, SAP uh, developed this solution, which is called SAP IAG, and this is fully cloud based solution. OK, so people who are not aware of what is access governance. So let's try understanding this a bit. OK, so there are two terms uh, are used and people are really confused uh, within that. Uh, if they don't have exposure in security. But yes, just to help you out, one is identity and access management. Second, identity and access governance. When I'm saying identity and access management, that talks about authentication, authorization, identity, lifecycle management. Okay. So that is, again, we have a tool for that, which is cloud identity services on B2B, which takes care of identity and access management. Okay where we have SAP IES, SAP IPS and for authorization SAP BTP itself has a service called authorization and trust management service and that takes care of authorization part. OK, so that is all identity access management. But here we are talking about identity and access governance. Then what this identity access governance is? Guys, understand here. Let's take example. You joined a company and in that company you have 10 different system and you may need access to three to four system, right? What will happen? You may reach out to the administrator of each system. They can go ahead and provide you access separately. OK, right? They will uh, add you as a user there. They will assign you required roles, right? Do you think how tedious job is if the company is very big, lacks of employees are there, everyone is reaching out to every person and asking for access? doing manually is really tedious job. So then we thought of why not to have a system which will be access governance system. OK, we can integrate these applications with this application, this identity access governance application or governance application, I would say. OK, what will happen if someone want to have access for any of these applications, they will get a form and there they can access their request to these applications. OK. Because this application has been integrated with this, it this application already know that what all the type of roles are available, what are and you know your roles, who is the people who is owning those roles and all. Definitely you will raise a request and it'll definitely go to the approval and he will accept your request or grant your request. And as soon as he grant the IAG or your access governance tool is going to provision your user here and you will be able to access that application. OK, so there is just one thing what that access governance tool does. The another capability what risk access governance tool is risk analysis, access risk analysis. Let's see what happened now. A lot of people have access to these lot of applications, right? But as a security person or as an access governance, uh, you know, uh, consultant, what I would do, I will keep doing risk analysis. What? Why risk analysis? Maybe some people have extra access, how much they need, or some people have less access and they are not able to perform their job perfectly, right? So I will run risk analysis to the all the user data because it is integrated. Definitely it will pull all the data here. It will have apply some risk rule sets and it will analyze the risk. And definitely as per the results, it will do the required uh, mitigation. OK, required steps it will take and then again provision the correct you know, roles or authorization to all these users. That is one. Second, third option is role designing. Definitely what happens, these systems have lot of roles, right? 
but definitely this IAG or access governance tool definitely can create more authentic role, right? Because what will happen, it will understand, we will definitely configure segregation of duties with different roles what we'll create here, okay? So we can create some roles and we can make sure that this is this role is accurate for some specific task. So those role designing, whatever we can, we, we are doing here, those specific roles, which are proven roles, they, those roles can be assigned to, you know, the users and so that they have really res less risk, right? And there are other jobs as well, like we can also uh, provide some certificate to some different access we have. And then again, we have privilege access management capability where during firefighting, let's say there is some problem happens, you know, some disaster happens, right? And people need more access to these application, right? For some time to be able to deal with the disaster as a part of this disaster recovery, right? So they need more access. So what will happen? This governance tool will create a separate ID and will be allocated to one of the people who are one of the users in these, right? And they will go and log in and there all the things what they're doing will be monitored, right? Will be checked later whether he did take advantage, advantage of elevated access, whatever he got. So guys, this is what your IEG does. Definitely, it is it utilizes IES for authentication, authorization of different owners you have in IEG. Also, it takes the help of IPS to be able to integrate with cloud systems. So if you try understanding here, see this is our access governance tool running in one of the sub account and using cloud connector, it is integrated with on-premise systems and using IPS, it is integrated with cloud systems, right? And also it is taking care of uh, taking the help of identity authentication service to define different IEG owners and also people who are trying to access IEG. Their authorization is also getting managed by IES using different groups. We have, you know, in IES, which we have mapped with the role collections we have on BTP for IEG. And also in the case where you have corporate identity products, you can create a trust with uh, this IES for a delegated authentication in case of any need. So guys. I hope this diagram is really, really clear to you. Okay. And if you really want to understand or implement IAG, this is the diagram for IAG standalone implementation. But also if you need a lot of customization in your, uh, in your, you know, in, in, in access governance tool, then definitely you can have GRC as well in a place and their IAG will work as a bridge and will take care of customization for cloud systems as well, at least in some of the cases. So if you really want to learn in all these in these things in detail, starting from setting up IAG, then setting up IAG IAS for all these works and then doing integration with cloud systems, doing integration with on-premise systems, setting up your corporate identity provider and then making sure this complete landscape is working perfectly fine. And at the end, then uh, once these all integrations are done, your infra is set. Now you want to, to you can configure each of these functionalities in IAG and once all done, maybe if you want to implement IAG bridge as well, where GRC will also get integrated with IAG. This all you can learn with us. We have very awesome course available and we have been delivering training on this from very long time. So that is uh, IAG. So let me show you here quickly. As a part of our IAG training, we cover First introduction to IAG, basic setup of IAG. We, we try understanding BTP because it's running on BTP, so you have to understand this very well. Then we understand IAG subscription and initial setup. We uh, understand the complete uh, integration of IAG with IES for a uh, trust setup or for different IAG owner setup. Then we also start understanding IAG integration with on premise systems, IAG integration with cloud systems using IPS. Then once this all is set, then we uh, sync the we we do the repository sync for all target systems and then we set up the master data for IAG. Then with uh, then again you know we do access risk analysis on IAG, access request in IAG, role designing in IAG, access uh, and access certification in IAG, IAG privilege access management. At the end we do IAG bridge as well, and we are going to offer you full flex system access for that because we already have IAG with us and we'll help you. Uh, you know, here uh, to be able to work on IAG without any hassle. Okay.
and guys uh, this is going to be and guys this is going to be instructor led training where you will be getting access to the ieg landscape we have a licensed ieg available with us okay and you are going to have access to this to be able to perform the hands on you will be getting access to ies and ips as well also access to on premise systems if i just show you that this is a 6th january batch which is still running so if you see that right we we run first session then first session video is available here and first session ppt assignment session 2 video assignment session 3 video assignment 3 4 lecture 4 similarly for each sessions you will get uh, assignments and see the batch is still going on and we have further two to three sessions which will get done and each of these sessions you get proper documentation everything done so if i just quickly get into this you know so if you see uh, right so there are a lot of people uh, you know have enrolled and learning with us and uh, these type of assignments and all you'll be getting uh, as a part of this training videos will be uploaded like this and uh, it will be really helpful for you to refer it later after session gets over i hope you understood and uh, this how we offer this training and please reach out to us if you're looking for training on iag thank you so much